I can tell you now um, that I am a now officially a representative for Donald Trump at the National Archives. And I'm going to march down there. I've never told anyone this because it just happened. And I'm going to identify every single document that they blocked from being declassified at the National Archives. And we are going to start putting that information out next week. Wow. Wow. So what will that, what do you, what do you anticipate that will do? What will come out of that? Yeah. It's the back end of what you just referred to. As Devin said, you know, you haven't seen half of it, all this information that they want to, you know, they want to say, Oh, Russia gates over Donald Trump. can. It's not over. It hasn't even begun because half this country still thinks when they hear Russia get, they they think, Oh, that time, because Adam Schiff told us Donald Trump colluded with Russia. That's not what happened at all. Right. And our children are learning the opposite of that as well. Because the mainstream media and Adam Schiff continues to lie. So we're going to continue to put out children's books. The Pot Against the King is one. But we're going to come on your show. We're going to go on the Reawaken tour. And every time a document is declassified, it's going right up on DurhamWatch.com for free. And we're going to make a big announcement every time. I want the two FISAs to be fully declassified. I want the insurance plan to come out that the lovers concocted that we've known about for four and a half years that the American public still hasn't figured out. And I want to to know or I want to educate the American public on how deep the FBI lied and their level of corruption went. It wasn't accidental. It was orchestrated by James Comey and Andy McCabe and their underlings. And they're still doing that illegal work as testified to by FBI in the Sussman prosecution. They themselves admitted we're under investigation for lying during the Russiagate investigation, which we ran. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. And so... We're not going to stop. That's why I say people are like, Russiagate's over. It ain't over. We're just starting. 